Hello guys, this video will show you how you can improve your plasticity experience by changing up the mat caps. And real quick guys, if you're interested in learning plasticity, I've got a new course on Udemy. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. I've got tree cutting mechs, I've got SMGs, I've got dark energy swords, I've got spider drones, and much more content on the way. There's about 30 hours of content right now and more is being added weekly. Now, right now, Plasticity doesn't really have a lot of advanced mat caps or materials. Uh, the materials and kind of color management is in its more basic state, and I think in the future that system will be improved. But right now, there's more pressing issues with just improving other parts. But I do want to show you right now how you can improve the the material system. So here's the problem. So if you if you left click, we go to render mode, but it kind of looks completely terrible. So I don't re ever recommend using that. So what you can do is you can right click on this. So you have some cool options here. So this one right here is the default mad cap. And with it, you lose all your colors. So whatever materials, colors you have set up, it's going to lose and just kind of give you this basic mad cap, which is kind of bluish and orange. So a lot of times when people use plasticity by default, you will see this uh, mad cap. The problem with this is I just found it to be very distracting and you just got like blue and orange and it's kind of hard to tell what the fillet size is. There's just a lot of distracting colors. So I, I don't like it that much. I'll prefer something else. But we have, for example, I mean, this one, I don't really use this one because it's kind of this uh, red and it's got this bad mad cat just has like this uh, octagonal shape in there, like just way too glossy. Uh, these things, I think, for checking reflections or something. Uh, you got this one here, which it does support color. So you can see the colors I've got set up uh, do are activated. Uh, the problem is it's way too glossy and I can see uh, various kind of reflections here. As you can see that kind of a jagged reflection here, like a really low quality uh, HDR image. And it's, it's also kind of difficult to see uh, reflections with this and it's just way too glossy. So it's kind of an awkward matte cap to use. So you now we got this one here and this one is a more matte. It's, it's unlike the default one, it does support colors. The problem is it's just way too dark in various areas. Like here, it's just way too dark. And it also kind of makes it hard to see what the fillet size is. Anyways, I'll show an example of that, but let me show you how you can make your own custom mat caps. So you go into this folder right here, uh, this PC, local disk, users, your username, app data, local plasticity, app 1.0, resources, app, dot webpack, renderer, image. And here are your mad caps. So essentially, what you kind of have to do is you kind of have to um, replace the existing mad caps with some custom ones, just some custom images. So, for example, ceramic light bulb, which is the very, the very glass one right here. So if I right click here, this is the ceramic light bulb. I want to replace this with something, something custom, something which is more conducive to seeing your shapes better. So what you would do is you would find ceramic light bulb and you either put this into a different folder like old mad caps, or you simply right click and rename this to ceramic light bulb, you know, backup, renamed. And that way it will no longer affect plasticity. And what you want to do is you want to put in new images with the same name as this. So you're going to take an image you put in here and give it that same ceramic underscore light bulb name. And then that's going to take over plasticity. So instead of seeing this, you'll see your new one here. And also, you know, you can also replace the reflection check horizontal with some other one and maybe reflection check vertical, things like that. So I want to, I'm going to have essentially, you need, you need two, you need the same mat cap with two file formats. You need PNG and .exr. And if you have GIMP, for example, or Photoshop, I use GIMP because it's free. You can simply export as a PNG and as an EXR file. All right, so essentially you open up the PNG file and here is that ceramic light bulb. As you can see, it's got those awkward uh, reflections that I really don't like. And you simply pop in your own custom mat cap right here. You can find one on an image search or create it yourself. Uh, in fact, uh, if you have my plasticity course, go into the first video, the resource for the first video, you find a zip file that has all those files in there. Just copy and paste them into that folder. But if you don't have that access to my course, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'll make this like 150%. All right. So you can go ahead and just take a screenshot right here and just 
you know, put this into the PNG file and uh, make sure this is all transparent. It's got the same, you know, scale as the original one. And simply now export this as, you know, ceramic, ceramic underscore light bulb PNG and ceramic underscore light bulb EXR and copy and paste those into your plasticity folder. Once again, to avoid overwriting, go ahead and make backups of the previous files. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take ceramic light bulb and that's going to go into a uh, old matte caps. I'm going to take the uh, horizontal reflection and that's going to go into old matte caps. I'm going to new matte caps. I got these right here. I can paste them right there. All right. So go into plasticity to reset plasticity. Hold down control shift R that will restart it. All right. So if I right click now, and notice we have re replaced the horizontal stripes and we replaced the ceramic light bulb with this. So if you I'm just kind of zoom in here. So I, I just I just think that the two colors, the, the orangish and the bluish, are distracting. So if you're modeling, you use for example this one, and that gives you a nice clean gray material. So I just think it's very nice and clean. And if you want the colors, you activate this one because the ceramic light bulb, light bulb actually supports colors. So if you don't want colors, you got this. If you do want colors, you got this. As you can see, it's got the colors. So here is what I think this custom matte cap is better. So, you know, if I want colors, I would use this one, but you're going to notice what the problem is, is that, you know, right here, for example, all right, we have this flat area, we have a fillet happening here, and we have this flat area. We can tell there's a fillet because if we go into you know, our edges, we can use, there's a fillet right here. But when using this material, this matte cap, we can't quite tell because we just see, we just see one color for this and one color for that. And we can't really see the size of the fillet. It's kind of confusing here. But if you use that custom matte cap, check this out. Aha, uh -huh, we can see there's a flat area here. We can see the size of the fillet and we can see an area right here. So compare these two guys, you know, two, two different colors here. Can't see the fillet and here, two different colors. One, two, three, easy to see the fillet. So I think this is just a, you know, notice out here, it's, it's way too flat. We can't see what's happening here. Whereas here, we can nicely make out fillet size. Uh, same right here. You know, there's a fillet happening here, but we can barely see what's happening here. It looks awkward. We'll switch to the matte cap. Look at that. We can see the fillet size right here and the fillet size right there, which just allows us to gauge and judge our shapes and our design a lot better. And instead of using this one, which is, you know, I think it's a little awkward. We can use this one right here and once again we can see so like you know we've got the orange we got the blue we got blue or well, orange it's like a, there's like a sudden cutoff here and it's kind of frustrating but with this uh look at that fillet fillet much easier to see what's going on here so i just think that these custom matte caps will really help you out so like these little circles I got, you know, spheres, I think they just pop out, I think, a lot more. It's just easier to read your material, to read your, your design. So I hope you guys benefit for this. Thank you for watching and take care.